So everyone's just like preparing stuff. It's exciting. The stage looks level. But the tough thing is, the bad thing is, is that last night I changed my talk. And so I've known about this for six months. I didn't change it fully, but I changed elements of it because I was dissecting it with Omar. We were just like, what vibes, what doesn't vibe? Craft your message and cut the rope. Okay, because I'm also trying to listen out to any like nothing words and nothing sentences. So it's part, of, part of it has changed. So today's day one rehearsals. I'm going to take you through this vlog in Charlotte, through some of the rehearsals, and then also the actual event, the spot event, and stuff like that. So the next couple of days, I'm going to be vlogging while I'm in London. This is literally speakers' corner. Okay. Okay. This is where all the speakers are going to be in the first instant. We've got a grazing table for you, snacks, refreshments for you. It's comfortable. Where's the stage? Over there. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Right, so rehearsals are finished, alhamdulillah. Now heading to the world's best food place, Zaha Street Grill, which is uh, Onali's restaurant. As you guys know, Onali, my bestest friend. And we're also going to try and shoot a podcast with him today. So today's a fun day because we got the, we, I'm going to Zaha, grab some lunch, shooting some content with them there. Day one, I shoot some content with me as well. And then me, Onali and Kareem are then going to go to the spot event tonight, which is uh, showcasing the new doc documentary. And, uh, and I'm going to be speaking there. And so that's going to be really nice, like red carpet event. And they're going to unveil it in the cinema and stuff like that. So there's going to be lots of people there, inshallah. That's going to be nice and fun. So tonight I've got the spot event, but then first thing in the morning is the TED event. And what we realised is that they're in the exact same area in East London, which is like an hour and 50 minute drive from me. So we were like, oh, we might as well just stay there because in the night we're going to be in the same road, basically. The venues are very close. So we, we booked a travel lodge that we're just going to pitch up in after the spot event and then probably shoot the podcast and then head to the TED event in the morning, inshallah. I'm feeling confident about the TED event now, inshallah. Inshallah, I'm feeling good. I'm the last one to speak, so I have to wait like six hours. I have to get there at 10 a.m. and I'm like at 2 50 p.m. I think but it's all good man like it feels kind of an honor that they wanted me to be the main event at the end so I want to make sure that I give them the best final speech as well so yeah now you guys know the itinerary let's head to Zaha oh. <laughs> this is the owner of Zaha I just work here <laughs> Isn't it interesting how I don't have a message on this wall? Yeah, great. Before you go to Jannah, create a Jannah in your heart through the Quran. That's Sheikh Jamal. 100%. I'm going to find myself a spot on this wall. I'm going to write something. <laughs> it's one of my favourite quotes of recent times. Explain it. It's, it's to be mixed. It's, it, you have to. Um... You, um, you had. You, you, you could. You do. Deep in. You can find your own explanation. Pretty proud of that one. <laughs> right, I'll have a wrap. Yeah. And what do you call the wraps? Non rolls. Non rolls. You, you I don't need avocado, it. right? Huh? Amazing avocado. I don't mind avocado. No, no, you have to. That's enough though. I don't want too much of it. Yeah, I'll get some leaves. Some of this. Spinach? Yeah. Wow. Cheese. <laughs> red onion, that's a red onion. Tiny bit, tiny bit. Crispy onion, Zaki. I'm not crazy. I'm just going to go for the Zaha sauce. Basil, this is the best roll of your life. Zaha. It's honestly the best food in the world. Yeah, I agree. But the worst part is, is that people are always going to think that because you're my friend, I'm saying that. But even if this was your enemy, I would go here. <laughs> I love it that much, honestly, bro. So, basically, what's happened is I left my camera in Zaha and only just found out because he got a message from one of the staff. Where's Only? Only Donnelly Khan. Just come show me your face for a second. The whole point of this vlog, the main thing was to show the spot event and the TED event. Left the camera. So I'm shooting on Only's phone, his iPhone 15 Pro Max, along with which is probably just as good as the camera anyway. So this is what I'm going to be vlog vlogging on tonight, definitely at the spot event, because uh, I do want to see you guys get the footage and we're going to try and see if we can get the camera by tomorrow. If we don't, it's all good. Actually, I want to show you guys something. So basically, uh, only um, there's this guy in Dubai called Yusuf Bai. Yeah, I have this perfume. It's my favorite perfume of all time. Yeah, I've, I've used to gatekeep it, but I'm not gatekeeping no more. I'm a reflection man. Best perfume in the world. Now this used to be when I started getting it. it used to be 150 pound for a bottle, which is ridiculous. Smells like which is ridiculous. But then it went up to 200. Yeah, and then 300 pounds I paid for this. That is ridiculous, Shrajil. So then Yusuf Bai. He basically can, apparently can recreate any smell. So he took this in and got in to smell it, and guess how much I paid for it, bro? A realistic guess? Yeah. Oh, 50 quid, bro. 15. One five pounds. Muslim Bilal also has this perfume. I showed it to him in Gambia and he was like, bro, that's sick. So I bought it for him as a gift. So open his gift. Oh, no, no, no. no. I've, already, it's already, I've already opened it. Already. So this is for MB. Smell it, Akhi. Get, do it. So you, you opened this gift? Smell it. And smell, and smell this. Is it similar? It's very similar. It's a lie. Yeah. Mad, in it, bro? Obviously, the oil is going to be more in this, but bro, 
for that much of a price, I'll just I'll keep spraying that every hour. Anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna get ready, yeah, inshallah, yeah. for Ted. I'm repping my tortil. I'm repping my tricep. I'm repping. I'm repping. All right, guys, we'll see you at the sport event at Genesis Cinema for life of sport. This is Brunel from the OG Gambia trip. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And then we've got Yeremi in the building. What's your G who doesn't like to be on camera? We've got MB in the building. Sorry, but I caught you off guard. I caught you thicker, I'm sorry. The weirdest thing seeing him in the UK. Weirder. We just saw each other in Dubai. How things, bro? Alhamdulillah. You look like you've been training strong back here long, buddy. Oh, dieting. I've just ordered some chips though, so don't tell my trainer. Okay, we will. We'll keep that secret. This is No one watches these videos anyway. I just saw one of the other speakers from the TEDx event, which is tomorrow morning. And they were like, you shouldn't be here. And I was like, I won't tell if you don't. Because <laughs> we should be rehearsing right now, because it's first we need naturals. Donnelly, Donnelly we need naturals and we need some now. Alright, go on, make the order. So, the event's about to begin, and Donnelly's gonna drop us a little freestyle right now. How can I drop a freestyle when the master's right next to me? Hey! In the days I was really in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And. <laughs> and he has to wind with cinema. <laughs> this is not a Coke, it's Vimto, will I? I promise. Oh. oh. This is like the first fizzy drink I've had in about three months. Yeah, I'm a birdie. He's maturing now. Yeah, we're grown now, we've got beards. And I think about our journey, this life of orphans, and it's like, wow. As time goes on, Allah helped me as well. So after thank him as well. How's the production? Looking good? This is what Spot is all about. Developing, making a difference for these young children's lives. So AB just showed us this house. This is a two bedroom in this village. So why do everyone? Anyone watch Freshly Bounded podcast? Yeah? yeah? Okay, so they know you here, Faith. This is essentially a three step framework on how to, how to make an impact. The A for, for, for ACT stands for authenticity. And then the C in ACT, it stands for connection. You have to be able to, to, to connect with people. And then the T stands for transformation. And that's where you elevate the ordinary. And then when you have that authenticity, you have that connection, the only thing that is inevitable is that transformation. And I think that's, uh, that's what's really powerful for me when I, when I see sport. We're just leaving the event. Kareem has joined us. Assalamu alaikum, Kareem. We've been invited to Simply Smash, which is across the road, they said, but it is across the road, look. I've been wanting to try Simply Smash for a very long time because I love how, how they do their socials. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Sakib and I'm doing our Simply Smash. Wow, <laughs> Sakib, look at his baraka. Who do I see his baraka? So everything you think on our menu is made by different members of our family. So you, here you see the garlic parmesan that's made by my brother's wife. And right there you've got the mango chutney ring. We just launched that actually. It's inspired by my recent trip to Bangladesh. Yeah, very nice. Okay, we are back in our luxurious travel lodge. We have one child's bed, one queen size bed, and one child's bed. And tomorrow is the day, the big day, the biggest talk of my life so far. And have I done revision? No, we were out eating simply smash burgers. And now it's gone past midnight. I'm gonna get less than six hours sleep or something, and I have to do a fat talk. This last thing I could do Jeez, is have I bad sleep too. for a call. Yeah, it's, it's half twelve. It's half twelve. So we wake up at six thirty, pray for Go back to sleep. Yeah, we're travelers. Did you hear that, Annalise? See you tomorrow. On the big day, the biggest speech so far. I, it's not the biggest speech because um, I feel like the Fresh Ghana live events were. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Sabah al khair. It's the morning of the TED talk. We are going now. We're running a tiny bit late. A tiny bit. Uh, and it's only was the last one to get fully ready. So <laughs> we're just getting in the car. Gonna drive there. Wow, look at that. Looks beautiful, man. Okay, so we're backstage at the and there's speakers everywhere memorizing their speeches as as I walk through the corridor I just hear people reciting their speeches and the first speaker is up the stage is over there anything that negatively impacts this time he's next <clears throat>
All right, guys, I just um, sat here and the brother Janae just came up to me and he told me something that I was a bit taken aback by. What did you tell me? I've listened to every single episode of Fresh Ground. Every single episode? And I'm listening to it again now from the start. No way. <laughs> Subhan, there's not that much benefit, but he listened to it again. <laughs> so when did you start listening to it? In 2020. I started listening to it properly in 2020. So you, in 2020, went back to 2017 and started watching yes. episodes? Yes. Wow. That is ratings. Akhi, respect and love, bro. Do you have, do you have the game? Do you? I have the game, yeah. I've got oh, two. Man, I bless you, Akhi. Yeah, if I had it on me, I would have said I would have given you the game. I bought for you as well. Subhanallah. Okay, that's amazing. Jazakallah, Akhi. Honestly, that support means so much. You don't realize that that stuff actually you know, makes you want to carry on, like so. Yeah, that's big, Akhi. May Allah bless you. Jazakallah, Akhi. Okay, so it's time for my segment. So there's three groups, and this is the third group. So now the third group has started. So this is the final segment at ten. So I'm on, on this segment, but I'm on last. The final speaker. So it's almost time for me to get mic'd up. This is probably the last time. I'm gonna connect with you guys before my talk, and I'll see you after the talk, inshallah. Feeling a bit nervous. I'm gonna go with my lines one last time. All done. Man, insane, insane. I was just telling Vassal as well, like, I was even noticing there was not a single um, you know what I mean, no like ring. Amazing, like flawless, engaging, everything at like, you know, your tonality, clarity in your voice, even I was noticing that. I was talking about showmanship, but you delivered it with showmanship.